Hi, my name is Wade Colburn. I'm the product manager at Cochlear Americas, and I'm responsible for nucleus implant systems. When we've looked at the creation of, of new electrodes, we're always looking at how we can optimize overall hearing performance. And so there's lots of data that, that suggested that, you know, from a design factor perspective, what are the best performance outcomes and, and how do we achieve that through design of an electrode and overall implant system? And so what's kind of risen to the top is that there is a true benefit of being close to the nerve and having close proximity to the medialis, but then also how you can ensure that you stay within the right scale up. And from a historical perspective, you know, our, our, while we've had paramedialar arrays for quite some time, we weren't necessarily able to achieve both of those elements. Um, with the, but with the new introduction of the slim medialar array, those were really two of our fundamental goals, is ensuring that we had consistent scale of timpani placement as well as close proximity to medialis. Um, and so when we look at that multi-center study, had 100 different patients and was done at 13 different centers with many surgeons across those centers, uh, you know, we've really seen overwhelming success. So I think that some of the key elements of that study that, that really rise to the top and, and some key observations is that you know we were able to achieve 89% scale of timpani placement, which is which for a paramedialar array is largely equivalent to what you would expect with a lateral wall array, as well as have really tight wrap factor. So with the introduction of the slim medialar electrode, the placement of the electrode relative to the medialis is extremely important. 